Hello and welcome back to the lecture on applied econometrics. We have been talking about model specification within model, model specification we have been talking about omitted variable bias and within omitted variable bias we are talking about exclusion of a particular variable, particular relevant variable and we try to see what happens if the particular relevant variable is excluded and we have kind of sort of estimated the extent of bias that we will see if that particular relevant variable is excluded. Of course, you need to remember here we are basically dealing with a very simple toy model. We are only talking about two variables, two explanatory variables in our model, the true model and whereas the after the omission of a variable we have a simple OLS. So, because the simplicity of calculation or relatively easy you know sort of ease of calculation we are using this kind of model, but if we have let us say too many explanatory variables then it is really difficult for an econometrician to calculate this bias and all other you know estimations we are going to see. So, it is basically to get an idea you know what happens if we actually exclude a particular relevant variable. So, let us say in the previous uh, lecture we spoke about the extent of bias and bias we said is beta 3 into h when h is the if, if we run a regression between you know the two explanatory variable h is the correlation or the regression coefficient and beta 3 is the regression coefficient when we in the actual variable uh, in the actual model between the true vari true uh, x variable and the y okay the dependent variable now we need to understand what are the different cases okay so whether the bias is going to be upward or downward okay and what is the extent of this bias upward bias or a downward bias what is the extent of this bias and we'll we'll sort of write down all the different possible examples okay with some examples we'll try to illustrate that so let's say we are talking about wage wage and let's say we have this equation beta 1 plus beta 2 education okay so we know that education has a positive correlation so wage and education they're you know positively correlated so education so beta 2 is going to be a positive sort of you know uh, it will be a positive uh, regression coefficient so the sign is going to be positive now let's say we have parental education okay parental education so we know because of parental education because you know our parents had education so they knew the importance of education and they actually invested in our education so actually that helped us to get more education and that actually helped us to sort of get a higher wage now if in our model we actually end up excluding that part let's say i have excluded that part i have excluded that part in our model so what we'll have we'll have only beta 1 plus beta 2 into education now because it is excluded the parental education that component will be sort of captured in the education component okay so the the education variable actually take some part of the parental education uh, you know sort of it will mimic some part of parental education and the bias that we will have that will actually you know if uh, the b2 or if this is a true model and if our you know estimated model is this b1 plus b2 into education so what will happen this b2 is actually taking into account this b2 at the same time it is taking into account it is taking into account this b2 and at the same time this component here because in this true model i actually did not take into account parental education in my actual model or, or the estimated model so what is happening in the estimated model this b2 is actually representing this as well as this okay so then i say that b2 is actually upward estimation of b2 okay so essentially it means that my b2 is actually greater than b2 why because b2 here is representing b2 plus h b3 and here my h b3 in this case now this this b3 we have said this is this is a positive quantity this is positive quantity but there is also this h we need to see what is the sign and magnitude of h so since my parental education parental education is if i look at my parental education and children's education let's say let's say the education of the children I basically do a regression and let us say I have A plus H parental education. So, this parental education is also influencing the education, the children's education positively. Okay? 
So, then the H is going to be positive. All right. So, then I have B3 positive, I have H positive. So, essentially this whole component is going to be positive and that is why my B2 is going to be bigger than beta 2. Okay. So, that is case 1. So, I will write down these cases now. Case 1, let me write, write down all the different cases. So, let us say I have my, here I will write down the value of B3 and then I will write down the value and direction sign of y and the conclusion, what happens because of that. So, in the previous example, that is our case 1, we have seen B3 to be positive, H to be positive. So, B2 is an over estimation of beta 2. Okay. Now, I will talk about the second case and I will again explain it through <clears throat> some example. Let us say from the same same uh, case, so, okay, let me actually not write down B here. So, that is the, that is the first case. We will we'll talk about the second case later. Let me actually first illustrate the example before I actually write the second case or may, let me use the next page to explain the second case and then I will come back here. The second case, let us say I take this example where I have, let us say, let us say I am talking about working class mothers, okay. Working class mothers, they are working. Now, what happens if my, let us say my mom is a working class mo mo mother and she needs to work. Her earnings, her earnings is basically proportional to the, you know, like um, her num number of hours she is working, okay. So, number of hours and so let me write down. So, like mother's earning, mother's earnings is equal to A plus H into number of hours, where H is going to be, they are positively correlated, right. Now, let us say I am talking about kids education, okay, kids or children education, kids education is equal to, I know that this is going to be, let us say this is the equation is going to be let us say beta 1 plus beta 2 into mother's earning because if my if the kid's mom is actually working and she is earning, so she will invest that money for the kid's education, right. So, th they are positively correlated whereas, there is another component. If the mother is actually working for long hours outside and she is outside the home, so she will not be able to pay attention to the kid's education. So, what will happen? is that the beta 3 that is going to be negatively correlated, that is going to be negative correlate, negatively correlated with the, so that, that, that will have a negative sign basically, beta, not beta 3 will be negatively correlated, but mother's work hour let us say, mother's number of hour or work hour let us say. So, mother's work hour is going to be negatively correlated with kids education. Okay? And that is why this beta 3 will have a negative sign. Okay? So, this is a case where I have in the previous example, I have in example 2, I have beta 3, beta 3 negative because mother's number of hours the mother is working is actually negatively correlated with kids education, but H is positive because, because of what? Because of the fact that the mother's income and mother's number of work hour are positively correlated. So, in this case, what will happen if my, in my regression equ equation, I actually omit, so my estimated regression education, uh, regression equation, so kids edu is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 into mother's, uh, oh, sorry, B1, because I am actually estimating B2 into mother's education is equal to B1 plus B2 into mother's earning. Okay. So, then in this case, what will happen to the B2? So, in this case, the B2 and beta 2. So, beta 2 is, of course, B2 is capturing beta 2, but at the same time, B2 is capturing this component also. But because this is having a negative impact, so, B2 is actually going to be less than beta 2. Here, the result is going to be B2 is less than beta 2. And why is that? Because of inclusion of this negative component. So, 
So, essentially here B 2 is again beta 2 into H beta 3, but because 1 is negative and 1 is positive, this component is going to be negative. All right. So, then beta 2 is an underestimation sorry B 2 is an underestimation of beta 2, this is an underestimation correct. So, this is something we need to understand, this is an underestimation of beta 2. So, it is going to be I will write down let me just multiple colors B 2 is an underestimation, underestimation of beta 2. Okay. Now, let us try to get another case, the third case let us say, third case okay. and in this third case, we will have let us say, let us say, let us say uh, this one is positive and this one is negative. So, by now we have an intuitive understanding uh, how you know uh, what sort of relationship it should have and it is going to be again B 2 is an underestimation of beta 2 and what would be a good example of that? So, let us say we talk about um, let us say take the example of the same wage equation, but in this case let us say wage is dependent on this. So, the actual regression equation is this beta 1 plus beta 2 into education and beta 3 into experience. All right. Now, how let us say this is the true model okay? and my estimated model wage hat is equal to B 1 plus B 2 into education. Okay. So, I have basically omitted experience whereas, experience is related to education. Okay. So, more experience means more wage. Okay. So, like more education means more wage, more experience means more wage. So, that means beta 3, beta 3 is positive. Okay. Now, how about the relationship between education and experience? So, education, so remember that. So, the more education we have, so let us say I, I have a lifespan of 30, 60 years and let us say I am in schools for whatever reason, so let us say 35 years okay, of edu. So, then my experience is going to be 25 years. Okay. So, education and experience, they are actually negatively correlated. So, the more education I have, the less experience I will have. And we will just show you in, in an example uh, after this lecture, in the next lecture, how we can actually interpret, how we can actually see that in reality is then negatively related. So, then I can say H in this case, H is negative, H is negative. So, exactly the third case that you talked about. So, H is negative and beta 3 is positive. So, this is an example where education and experience, so they are negatively related whereas, both education is positively related with wage or wage is positively related with education and wage is positively related with experience. Okay. So, then basically if we have that, so what will, so how would B 2 and beta 2 be related? So, B 2 here again is basically beta 2 plus H beta 3. Okay. Now, H is negative, beta 3 is positive. So, essentially beta 3 is positive. So, essentially the whole term, so beta 2, B 2 is going to be an underestimation of beta 2 because beta 2 is higher, but when you get a B 2, so that actually since it is you know capturing this negative component also, it is going to be an underestimation. Okay. So, this is exactly what we said. Now, coming to the last part and we know what is the last part by now and that is basically both negative both negative and we need to find an example for that. What would be an example for both B 3 and H negative? Okay. The third example we use right, kids education, kids education and again we have the working class mother. So, kids education uh, we will have let us say mother's income, we had mother's mother's income okay. Then we will have mother's experience 
and then we'll have mother's experience squared okay so let's say I will write, let us say this is equal to, let us say in an equation form, I will just add the equation beta 1 plus beta 2 into mother's income, beta 3 into mother's ex, mother's experience and beta 4 into mother's experience, uh, experience square. So, I will look into this component and why I have included this component, actually this is based on Minserian uh, wage regression. So, we know that income and experience they are positively related, okay. But income and experience squared, they are not positively related because we know that with age, the exp, you know, basically as we age, our experience increases, our, you know, income and experience relationship gets plateaued, okay. And that is because at a higher age, we actually do not get the increase in our uh, income proportionately and that component is captured in the experience squared, okay. So, essentially this experience squared and income they have a negative relationship. So, essentially that would mean, so I would rather say this is let us say just to maintain the convention let us say this is beta 3 and this is some beta 4. So, if if in my regression equation, so let us say I have uh, in my estimated regression equation kids I do, I have let us say I had, I have estimated B1 plus B2 mother's income and let us say I have omitted this one and I have only have this before let us say I mean it, it really does not matter if I want to include it or not because I want to see the relationship between B3 and you know uh, B2. So, let us say I have it okay mother's experience. So, I have actually missed out on this term I have actually missed this relevant term here. Now, when I miss this relevant term, I know the relationship between B2 and so basically B2 and B3. So, essentially uh, these two are negatively correlated. So, mother's, so if the H is basically negative, H is going to be negative because mother's experience square and mother's income, they are negatively correlated. Okay? So, H is negative. And what about kids education and mother's experience square? Well, since mother's square experience is actually the more the mom is experienced that means the longer time the mom is working and if the mom is working for very long time very many years so she is basically not giving that time for her to her kids education and that is why that is where she is actually what is happening is she is actually uh, the relationship between kids education and mother's experience squared is actually going to be negative okay so my beta 3 my beta 3 is actually negative okay so then the beta 2 beta 2 is B2 plus H B3 and here H is minus and B is minus. So, double negative will, will make my case a positive. Okay? So, what will happen? My beta 2, uh, my B2 is going to be an overestimation of beta 2 just like the first case. So, it is going to be B2 is an overestimation of beta 2. Okay? So, these are the four cases that you have seen the relationship between H beta 3 and beta 2. Okay? So, in the next lecture whatever you have seen now we are going to do some you know hands on to actually explain that and we will also talk about the relationship between this beta terms and H terms and you know like uh, and the R squared. Okay? So, with this we will end this lecture here. Thank you.